probably going to be one of the last times I'm going to be able to get on this bite that can get good out here. Looks like the water's up a little bit, so that's good. Bluegills. What do you think, first cast? I'm not surprised the water's loaded up on this right now. First cast, bagging two. Could have called that one. Couldn't have called it any better. Right in the snow. First cast. I mean, he just choked it <laughs> right off the rip. Gonna be on fire here for a minute. That's a good, probably two and a half pounder. Let me talk about the chatterbait rod really quick. This is a Dobbins Champion 736 uh, glass, and I got a. a Shimano Corrado K on it and this rod is just a deal loads up real good it's got the backbone they're schooling right there <laughs> kind of right we got in the middle he ate that but I mean this is the chatterbait rod if you're in the market for one and you're shopping around there's another one looks like another good no it's a little smaller I mean there's just, those are all Cisco's right there dude and there's another one see with this rod it just since it's glass, you know, you're gonna load up really well on them and then you can see all the backbone in that rod that takes over. And it's just, it's soft so when those fish get it, you don't rip it out of their mouths. The gear, I have a, a burner on this. This reel is a seven gear ratio. That's pretty much a staple for me. I know a lot of guys will like throw a six on it or maybe even a five, but I've always, it's easier for me to slow down and just barely turn the handle than it is for me to really just start burning it. Unless I'm throwing a big build plug, and then I'm gonna drop down, you know, in your five and throw like a winch or something. But especially, man, I just, I can, I've never had problems with it. I can get them to eat and I can control that fish way more with a higher gear ratio. Barely picked it up. Another good one. Come on with it. Just another thing, you know, you're just ripping through the through the little bit of grass, ripping through the grass, and then one time you're gonna go to rip through, it's just gonna load up, and then you just start winding the handle. Another thing that I really like about this rod is that full cork. I've always been a fan of cork instead of the EVA. And then a full cork hand. It's a little old school, I know. Not a lot of people like it, but me, me personally, I'm all about that. All about the cork. There we go. Looks like a big one. Yeah, that's a big one. That yeah, might be a five pounder. <laughs> Eating the jackhammer. Oh, look at that. Look at that boil he just kicked up. See, now you're fighting with this glass rod, you got all this leverage on this fish. When he's doing those little head shakes, this rod's loading up, and he's not popping that bait out of his mouth. I'm going to the, oh, have to pull the GoPro up here so I can land him. Good. Down you, man. Throw a jackhammer in a spring if you're going to do it, but pick yourself up a 736 glass champion oh he's just barely hooked <laughs> yeah big taking the jackhammer done you man this rod right here is the deal you can ask around if you see people throwing it you know they like it and that fish didn't have a problem taking that bait in this cold water with snow on the ground this rod just bounces. I don't really want to take one on the backhand. <laughs> you gotta be careful casting there the old jackhammer. Don't lose 20 bucks on an old tree. I hate taking fish on the backhand, but that's what we're doing right now. It's pulling pretty good. And we'll scale them just to see, skip, see what else we're dealing with in here. Attack of the wiener dog, bro. 
He's probably north of two pounds, that's about it. In the middle of this deal, the canal. And then they just load up on it and you just start reeling. Just like that, oh, that's a pike. Oh no, it's a giant largemouth. This is a absolute giant. This is a giant. Try to not lose my cool here. I'll open up my spool right there. I'll definitely weigh in this fish. Now, this is an absolute giant. Biggest fish I've got all year. Biggest fish I've seen in here in a while. Oh, maybe he's just playing me like he's big. I got my scales, so we'll definitely scale her up. Hooked on the outside of the mouth. Got that 736CB loaded up on her. Got Riker right next to me. Oh, she's a little green. Yep. A little green there on the grab. Dang, this fish has got some power. I mean, the back on this thing is giant. No more head shakes, no more head shakes, no more head shakes. Wow. That is a heavy fish right there. Let me scale her up and I'll put her back in. It's on. Pop this thing out. This is an absolute giant. If I can hook her up without hurting her. Is that locked in at 546? You guys see that? That's a giant. Back in. Oh, thank you, sweetie. You good to go? Yeah, you are. <laughs>